Yo guys, I can play zero back to another video. So I'll be showing you guys how you can make your own bots on Fortnite with commands because a lot of you guys have been asking me to do this for a long time. So as I did say in my last video, if it did get to 400 likes, I would do a video on this and you guys smashed the 400 likes. I think it's like 500 or something like that now. So I am going to be showing you guys how you can get bot commands. One more thing I do want to also say, if you are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and like this video if it just did work for you. And apart from that guys, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you guys is how you can get the new Nets else so when there's a new fortnite for update they generally do update these and change them around so what you want to do is after you've updated your game you are going to want to run fortnite and then you want to close fortnite straight away and now you want to go into your local app data so if you click windows key and r and type in percent local app data percent and click ok and they'll make your way to fortnite game so you can see here fortnite game saved logs and fortnite game this will be your config right here so what you want to type in here is net space cl and you will get a file down here called log init and then netcl and this is the newest netcl right here so you're going to want to keep this for a minute so i'm going to leave this file open like this and we'll come back to this so let me quickly just scroll down to the netcl should have made it that small quickly research for it so there, there's the netcl so we'll leave that there and then we can tab out of this one and now what you're going to want to do is you want to download the file linked in the description called fmbot commands you want to extract this to your desktop i've already done that so i won't need to and then you want to open it in visual studio code so you don't need to use Visual Studio Code, but it's the easiest way of doing this. And the thing you want to open is the index.js and the config. Now inside the index.js, there's not much you do need to do apart from if you want to change the status down here. At the moment it does say enjoy the bot source created by Siphon Echo Plays. So that's the only thing that you do need to change in here. Now the main things you do need to change are inside the config file. So I've made this a lot easier for you guys to understand. And now instead of trying to type it up it all in here, you can go in here and change the email to the account email, password to the password. And then the netcl is where you want to do next. So you want to go back into that file, copy the netcl number, and I'll paste it here. And that's all you do need to do to update this spot every update. Now the CID, the EID, and the BID or whatever, these are the default ones. So whenever the bot joins, this is what it will be. So you guys can make your mind up what you want that to be changed to. The pickaxe ID once again for the pickaxe, banners are for the banners, banner level is for what it will display as. So as a hundred, it's really big and it's a rainbow around it, like the border. And then here's just if you want to false to deny uh, friend requests and true to accept them. So that's pretty much all you do need to do in this file here. So I will type in the email and password for my account here. So I've done everything I need to do there. And now all you do need to do is close down your log file and you are pretty much done. So if you do get any errors, what you want to do is double click install packages and it's going to install any packages from here. I don't need to as I already have all of my node modules. So if you don't have this folder here, you want to double click this and do everything you need to do. Now after you've done that you will have a start bot, you want to double click this and this will start the bot. So that is pretty much all you need to do, I'm going to load my game up and show you this does work and apart from that I'll see you in game. Alright guys, so while my Fortnite is loading up there is one thing I do want to show you. So if you go into our discord server you guys will see there will be a new chat called CID testing and this is this will be called CIDs commands or something different so you want to look for something that says CIDs in it. And now you can type in any item here so what you want to type in is dot item here down here dot item and then whatever command or whatever item so let's say I want the iconic you would type in dot item space iconic and as you guys can see it will give you the CID for the iconic as well as the display name and stuff like that and if you do want the image as well there is also a dot image command that will just give you the image of the iconic but a bit bigger so if you want to download it or something I don't know what you would use that for but this was made by being Steven so big shout out to Steven as well and apart from that that is all you need to do for this so we're gonna do dot item and then renegade Renegade Raider and we're gonna grab the CID from the Renegade Raider and now once our Fortnite has loaded up we can use this with the bot so I wait for that to load up and I'll so be guys back. once you have loaded into the game you can go over here and now you want to add your bot now if you did auto deny frame request you won't be able to add it so the best thing to do is have it enabled and then once it has friended you deny it so my bot should be online down here scythe bot we're gonna invite it to a party and it is going to join you and if you do see in here it will say how many people are in the lobby at the moment so there is two me and him and as you guys can see, it does have the Epic Games banner along with 9999, etc, tier 100. And now this has an even better, which is command. So if we go to manage and click whisper, we can type in help. And this will give us all the commands. So for example, CID, EID, BID. Now that CID we kept earlier, if we put it in here and click enter, you guys can see it will change to the Renegade Raider. It is as simple as that, honestly. That is all you need to do. So we can do exclamation mark banner. If you do know the banner codes, these work, work, so it's mostly like other banner and then 27 sets it to the donut, I guess. And you guys can see it now does have the level 100 thing behind it, and that's what I mean by the level. Uh, and then yeah, you can play around with the other commands. 
One thing I do want to say quickly though is the exclamation mark ready command doesn't let you go in game, it just readies the bot up, it's just an aesthetic thing I guess. You can also do exclamation mark unready which unreadies it, but I am just saying now these bots are impossible to go into game so before you ask that, no they cannot go in game and no they can't give you XP boost. It's all visual pretty much. So that is pretty much it. Like I said as well, if you guys do want to change the status, uh, you can type in the status like hello this is a test. Uh, I spelled that wrong, but yeah, and now if you go over to the bot, you can see under its name, it will look like this, so up here, it does say, hello, this is a test, not test. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it all for today, uh, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and like this video, and apart from that guys, I will see you in the next video, peace out.